What's up everybody, this is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we're going to be creating an icon that you're probably familiar with, this right here, which is the music icon for OS X. Um, I look at it quite a lot and I decided I'm going to go ahead and make it. So what we have, to, what we have right here is a new document, which is 500 pixels by 500 pixels and a resolution of 72. Go ahead and slap your new layer icon and then go to your vector shapes and hold down shift and we're going to drag out a square roughly about that size and then click the vector layer in your background and we're just going to line it up here with vertical and horizontal. Change your color to a little bit darker just like this gray color right here. Now what I want to do is, um, not this, I want to duplicate that layer because we're going to use the bottom as a template and then right click the new layer that we made and go to create clipping mask and then we can double click it and just add some effects like a, uh, a gradient and we're doing this on that second the duplicated layer so on your gradient just make it overlay it's going to be something very subtle um, it's kind of hard to see but this one looks good enough to me and then we're going to go to our bottom layer and here we're going to add a stroke and for here it's going to be one pixel and a dark gray color something like this click OK then we're also going to add a subtle drop shadow now these settings have to play with a little bit but um, I kinda want to have somewhat hard shadows and they don't want I don't want them to stick out too far and looking at my reference it looks like the direction of the shadow is a little off I want it to poke out the top left corner a little bit so just messing with this a little more um, I don't know, my settings might not, might not even be correct, so just play with the opacity and get a, get a look that you want. And depending on your background, that might even change. Um, if you have a dark background, you might not even need a drop shadow. So I'm going to go with that. And, um, okay. And then click on OK. And we'll call it a day. So now we can continue stylizing this top layer here. We're going to add an inner stroke, just like a little highlight. So we'll go to Stroke change it to one pixel and inside and we're going to lighten the color a little bit the annoying stroke that gets automatically placed over vector objects is looking a little annoying so let's cancel out of this image or out of the color picker and select off the layer and then double click on the layer again and it is gone now we can continue modifying the stroke so I'm gonna lower well change the color instead of opacity I'm just gonna make it a little bit brighter than the background color uh, it takes a little bit of tweaking. That looks good enough for now. And now let's create a new layer. And we're going to create the gloss that's on the top left corner. So with your pen tool, just draw an arch. Um, it, it doesn't really matter the shape too much. I'm just trying to keep it as close as possible. Close it off. And then create the clipping mask so the edges are cut off. Remove the fill. Double click and go to your gradient. Um, I want my foreground color to be white. So I'm going to click on D. I'm going to reset it in X to make the white the foreground. Go to your gradient and then choose this white to transparent right here. And then just mess with this angle so the darker white is in the top left corner. And then you can always click off and drag it around. And then lower your opacity. Just something very simple. That looks good enough to me. Click OK. On second look, this gradient kind of looks a little bit too heavy. So I'm going to go to the gradient panel and turn down the opacity. And I'm going to accept that. Alright, so now we can get started on the music note. So create a new layer, go to your uh, custom shape tool, right over here. Click on this and find the music note, uh, right here. Alright, so then I'm going to hold down shift, <clears throat> click and drag out a music note to the approximate size. That's good enough. Let's remove all styling from this, just drag it to your garbage can, and then turn up the fill. And then we're back to the default. So I'm just going to line it a little bit better. And now there's one thing that we have to modify, which is the top option. So grab your direct selection tool and just select these two corner points. And holding down shift or just using the arrow tool, you can bring it down and make it a little bit thicker. That looks mighty purdy to me. So now we can change the color. So just double click on the color square and then click and drag off to grab this blue. Or use any color that you want. And now I want to add some effects to it. So I'm going to add a slight gradient, change it to overlay and bring down that opacity way down. Uh, hard to notice, but it's, it's, it's there. Trust me. 
I'm gonna bring it up and uh, I guess that's good enough let's add a slight uh, slight stroke one pixel not 21 and then we're gonna grab this blue and then make it quite a bit darker again just something very subtle let's see what that looks like it's a nice start now uh, let's go to the drop shadow add something very subtle um, just gonna mess with these settings till I get something that I'm happy with and let's see hmm I think that should probably be fine. Let's go to Bevel and Boss, and we're going to add a slight highlight to the top edges. So bring down your shadow, and then for the size, we're just going to go with zero, just so it's a one pixel hard line. The highlight's a little strong, so I'm going to turn down the opacity. That's good enough. And drop shadow, just going to mess with it a little bit more. Um, let's just leave it. And the gradient, going to make it a little more prominent by turning up the opacity. Um, uh, just tweaking a little bit. Um, let's try the stroke color, making it a little bit darker. Um, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Just a dark blue. That way, it, uh, it makes the shadow kind of stand out in the highlights and look a little better. All right, let's uh, mess with this white stroke that's over the background. So select your uh, second layer, double click it, and we're gonna mess with the stroke opacity a little bit. Just going to lower the opacity just slightly. Um, that's good enough. Just click OK. And there we have it. One order of sweet music icon deliciousness with honey. Um, all that's left is to give it a cool background, which this part is optional. I just want something to um, make the icon stand out a little bit. So I'm going to add a inner shadow. Just going to mess with the settings a little bit to um, add sort of a vignette effect so your eyes are focused on the center of the image so the corners are dark and um, something subtle like that and then just going to go through my pattern presets and grab something really quick uh, this one works lower that opacity and there we have it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this if you have any lesson suggestions feel free to leave it in a comment or send me a PM um, thanks for watching and see you next time please subscribe